We are Britain Mike, and this is our dog, Leah. We're converting our 2021 Ford Transit van into a home on wheels. Last week, we framed out our walls and ceiling, and in this week's video, we're framing insets into our walls so that we can sleep side to side. Leah, do you want to welcome everybody to the vlog? <laughs> Hello, welcome to van build episode 11. Hey guys. Last week we finished framing. And this week I'm building out the area for the bed that's gonna go into the walls. So we use up as much of that space as possible. Me being so tall, hopefully I can sleep comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start off with, oh, bless you. We'll start off by talking through our plan of how we're gonna build it. So as you can see, I have the wall already framed out to this point. Uh, our platform is gonna sit at about 32 inches high because the deepest part of the van is 36 inches off the floor here. So I wanna use as much of that as room as possible to go into the walls here. So I've cut this board out to fit. It's gonna be right at 32 inches off the top. And that's gonna be what I'm gonna work off from there. I went and I cut this one out of a piece of ply, piece of scrap that I had. And uh, basically what I had to do is make it four and a half inches at this side, three and a half inches at this side, and it should fit. <laughs> that one wasn't screwed in yet. <laughs> no, that was just there for fun. Um, so it should sit perfectly right on top of that board. Basically, I have to cut one, another one just like this for the top here that's gonna go across and then cut out two sides, build a box and attach it to here. So that board is gonna go across here and then attach it at the top and to the side somehow. And that should give us a nice, uh, a nice box that's going to go into the wall as far as possible. I'll just cut out a piece of uh, quarter inch ply that's going to sit back here with a window cut out for it and uh, make this look really nice but also use as much space as possible. All Ho right. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I've already got my cross beams cut to fit in these spots um, and the first thing I got to do is go ahead and put some pocket holes on both sides just like the rest of my framing so that it can attach directly into the wood from the side here and it'll be nice and flush. One down, one to go. All right, so I got my crossboard uh, clamped into place here so it won't go anywhere while I'm trying to put these screws in it. And yeah, just gonna go ahead and attach it. All right, so the first step is complete. All I gotta do is add some supports here on the bottom and then build my boxes and attach it. That's Easy, all. that's it, <laughs> Easy. <laughs> So this is what I was talking about earlier. The front of the cavity here is deeper than the back of the cavity. So I've cut this to four and a half inches at the front, three and a half inches at the back. So it's an angle all the way down and it fits perfectly like right along the, the cavity here. So I'm not gonna use this ply. This is just a piece of scrap that I had, but I've got some furniture grade ply that I'm gonna replicate this on for the two top cuts. Do a three and a half inch uh, board by 24 here and a four and a half inch by 24 here. I just make kind of a odd shaped box. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it'll be pushing on the insulation, but that's fine. All right, next step, add some supports that go from here to here. I've already cut out my uh, pieces. I just gotta put some pocket holes in them and attach them. All right, so you saw the framing that I built in the van. Now it's time to cut the plywood for the boxes. All right, so you probably noticed me put some masking tape down on the plywood that I'm cutting. And that's just to, uh, to get a cleaner cut. So I didn't like the way that the first one came out. It's okay. The cut's gonna go on the backside, I can hide it. But 
just for the rest of my cuts, I decided to use some tape, so make it look a little nicer. All right, it is day two. We are continuing building the bed frame today. Today I'm going to build the boxes and hopefully have time to install them on both sides. I don't know if you can tell, but that's Leah in the window from Puppy Jail because we can't just leave her loose in my dad's house or she will eat the cat food, um, which upsets her stomach, but she also hates being in the van with us. But we also have to bring her so we can walk her during the day. So she just watches us from this window. So as you can see, I went ahead and I cut out my boxes. Got one over here and one over here. Got them all cut out, assembled, and this one I went ahead and uh, kind of dry fit it into place, test fit it. So as you can see, it lines up perfectly with the supports that I built. I just have to do something in this corner at the top here and on the side to adhere it over here. And got to put the backing on and cut out the windows. But Looks like a uh, test fit was successful. Can you explain to the vlog what you're doing? <laughs> we're, we're very scientifically <laughs> trying to find something that has the exact same curvature as the corner of this window so that we can make a template and cut a hole out that exactly fits around here. So it's easy to cut a rectangle this tall and this wide, but then we want to find something that will approximate that curve. And that's not it. That's pretty good. Well, I don't know, maybe not. Because you figure it's going to end like right. Yeah. Uh, that almost is too small. Is the lesson here to keep your cardboard template? It is. <laughs> keep your stencils, you guys. Keep your stencils. <laughs> Take it. It's a little bigger, but you want it to be a little bigger. It's big enough so that you could caulk around it and it would be perfect. So we have our cardboard template cut out and we're going to use that to create a backing for our bed box area. Um, so the backing will be plywood and it'll have a cutout for the window. And this is the plywood for our backing. So this is quarter inch ply, very thin and lightweight. So we got the hole cut out in the box. Uh, now we're gonna put a couple bread nails in it and check it in the van to make sure that it fits where it's supposed to, the way it's supposed to. Well, how does it look? <laughs> Holy shit, it's really far away from the window, man. I know. 
I mean, even if I push this back, it's like... Well, that just means I have to build up something behind it. But is it is it uh, lined up fairly well? I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the corners aren't perfect. It's over here where it like went out away from where our template was, but we can just trim this up. Like some boards on the back side of this with some trim on the front side of it or something. Good afternoon, it's Friday and I haven't really filmed today because I've basically been doing the same thing today that I did yesterday and that's just building out the other box that we already showed you. But I went ahead and with the help of my father-in-law went ahead and installed these things and uh, let me show you what they look like. So here on the driver's side, we've got our first box and on the passenger side, we got our second box. I'm not 100% finished yet. I need to go and add some supports that go in the top here and then one on the side at least over here just to make sure this top is secure. We just used brad nails to secure this thing and wood glue and it is super sturdy. And then I'll also show you the solution that I've come up with for this. That'll be tomorrow. I've got something in order for that. All right, so at its widest point, we were at 75 inches and a quarter. That's uh, six foot three and one quarter inches. I am six foot two, so gonna be a tight squeeze at the widest point even for me or even at the widest point for me um, but yeah we did it <laughs> okay. all right it is a new day and we are finishing up the insets for our bed frame so I'm going to add supports to the tops and the back of the boxes that I built and I'm gonna add trim around the windows and I think it's gonna look really nice yeah so we'll show you the solution that we picked out for the gap between the window and the backing so I picked up some of this automotive rubber seal it's actually made to go around the doors of your vehicles and it actually does a really nice job of filling the gaps here and it looks really clean so i'm really happy with that i think it was 20 bucks for 25 feet of it or something like that super cheap so great solution so this is the same shot that i took earlier where we had a big gap right here you can kind of see it right here still um and so we think that's gonna do a really nice job of sort of closing that gap so there's multiple kinds of this stuff online that I saw, uh, but what I went for was one that has this little um, groove right here and the bubble on the inside of it so that it goes flush into the window rather than a lot of them, this little bubble was on top and then it would have just sat on top of the window frame, which would not have been, which wouldn't have worked, but I think this looks really nice and does a good job filling that gap. So this part will hook nicely right over our quarter inch ply right here yeah. so yeah it's actually really snug as you can see i've kind of i've kind of spread it out a little bit down here on the end where i put it on this is what it comes looking like though it's real tight and then these little rubber things inside here are going to help it hold into place really well Much better before after. <laughs> Babe, the squirrel came back for his orange. Look at him. He's up in the tree with an orange. So 15 minutes ago, we're working on the van and we, we see this orange. Mike saw an orange like fall out of the tree in front of my dad's house onto the sidewalk and we're like, we don't have an orange tree. Don't know what, what that was about. Um, it was a squirrel and he came back for it. Prognosis, good. <laughs> it doesn't move at all now. I think the seal looks great. I mean, 
can't ask for anything much or much more than that. All right, same thing, another side? Yep, just gotta repeat all of our steps again. That looked a lot easier when Mike was doing it. <laughs> My fingers aren't strong enough. Yeah, you have to like push it on and then like, at the end you have to like, just get it a little bit further. When you think it's on all the way, it's not. You gotta push it a little bit harder. When you think it's on all the way, it falls. <laughs> guys we got both boxes finished and installed and i think that's going to do it for this vlog thanks so much for watching and we will see you next week bye guys